Okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. <laughs> make me hate him. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, but how is Cloud actually saying this story out loud, though? Because depending on how he words it, maybe that's why Tifa's not really reacting particularly. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too, please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. That guy talked earlier. I'm curious about his voice actor. Carry on. Oh. <sighs> you better keep me safe. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, Cloud is... Cloud is acting like Zack. And then the Shinra Trooper is Cloud. That's... That's what's happening, right? I really wanted to see the reactor. <sighs> Would it kill this guy to say something? Well, he said something one time earlier. I really wanted to see the reactor. Hmm. So, if with Crisis Core, you know the nature of how this is wrong. Without Crisis Core, I feel like you still get a pretty good feel that, hey, something is very wrong about this story. What I'm more interested in right now is, why is this happening? W why? No secrets on the sides? Oh, but now we can climb up this high? That might enable some new secret hiding spots for... Hidden items. Something to be aware of. Danger! High Mako emission zone. Overexposure can pose serious health risks. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output. Like most last gen models. And let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Oh, this is a special reactor because... Is it because there's some Genova-related stuff here? Why is Cloud like this? He took Zack's... Zack gave him his buster sword and said, you're my living legacy. And then whatever happened after that, now we see Cloud and he's telling the story like he's Zack. Is he just unwell? Or is he purposefully lying? I don't get the vibes that he's lying on purpose. If he is, he would be a really good liar. And it, that just doesn't fit with his personality, but... Yeah. I find some of the wording of the dialogue of the townspeople, how people speak about things around here, a bit curious too, but I, I want to see this to the end first. Where am I trying to go here? Here we go. What are we gonna find here? Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first?
Oh, yes, yes. something. Experimental monsters. What are those things? Some of which have broken out. It's your mother, Sephiroth. Genova? Wasn't that... Function must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Hmm. Why would they send. Actually, why were we even sent here in the first place? Sephiroth sent to investigate this specific reactor. If the Shinra people. I'm assuming the Shinra people all knew about. Sephiroth and how oh his mother is Genova and whatever and then they sent him to a reactor specifically that has gigantic letters saying Genova at the very top of the reactor. This is a really old wheel. It's taking forever. <laughs> Seriously? Come on. But that's enough time. Huh? Oh no. That was enough time for something to be done. doing these pods were built for the production of artificial materia but hojo repurposed them as incubators cages for animals infused with mako all to birth a new breed of monster but he didn't stop at animals Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Oh, he just had this epiphany. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. I thought he knew this already. That's why he decided to destroy the monsters. It's like the moment he touched them, the moment that guy was exposed, just realized. Am I even human? Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. 
The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have mm -hmm. sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. There was a bit of a hmm moment between Cloud and Tifa just now. It's like they weren't on the same channel. Sephiroth left the party. Mayor? I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Busy. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? So, how was the reactor? Did you find out what was wrong with it? I, I feel like we never even solved it. We cut the tubes? Is that what the problem was, though? Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Hmm, Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Don't know what B got in his bonnet. But the man was not in a good mood. This is the part where he, he locks himself inside and he's like reading books all day long and researching about Genova, I think. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there? Things that we can't tell people about. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Should we follow them immediately? I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. Well, I got you. Any chance you could convince him to autograph that photo I took? Oh, you're asking for too much, man. I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. It's nighttime, everyone's back ho at home. I'm beat. No reason for you to be burning the Midnight Mako either. Go get some shut eye. <laughs> the Midnight Mako. We had this big dinner planned. It got called off when Sephiroth didn't show. Is that something Shinra planned out? Or is it more of a mayor, mayor trying to force us to do it kind of thing? I guess it's the latter. No, that's it. Oh, what about my own house? You know what's... You know what really doesn't make any sense? If we have a home here, why are we staying at the hotel? Why are we staying at the inn? We should be sleeping in our own house and all that. Looking for Sephiroth takes priority. He's something like that. I'm trying to figure out which house I've been to. Where's Tifa? Tifa's house is this one. Oh, interesting. My own house is the one that has a different message. Our houses are right in the middle of Town Square. It's like we're important people. Nope. Okay, okay, let's go find Sephiroth. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the mansion. A bunch of people? Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when we passed by. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there. Back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Oh, wow. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and yeah. needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Mako poisoning? Go and check on Sephiroth for us, will ya? Hurry, please. 
Mako poisoning. I don't know if we ever had like a really, really good explanation for what the after effects of Mako poisoning is. I think back in Remake, Jesse's dad had it. And then apparently he was exposed to Mako for like half a day and then he was bedridden and unconscious ever since. But I guess these things might be... the effects might be different from person to person. On a civilian versus a soldier, that could be different as well. Ooh. It's like they upgraded all the environments that we saw back in Crisis Core. Everything's all pretty and stuff now. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. It's fancy. Wait. Can we look at the other side? Oh! What the hell's that? I have no idea! Oh, remember those really dumb puzzles we had here before? About how we should peek through the keyhole and try to figure out how many... how many furniture, how many chairs we can see and crap like that? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> It doesn't seem like there's much else. Is that like a younger president Shinra or something? Oh, it closed! These must be the loading screen moments. I feel like we've had so many elevators already. It's only been like two hours. <laughs> Basement. Was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Torn B. Torn B? What what is that? Warding off sleepiness? What? Turn back. Oh, it says death. That's how you know we're about to see some scary stuff. Is that supposed to be death awaits? Death awaits? <laughs> the graffiti looks very like pandemonium. It doesn't look natural. It's just like random people writing diagonally on the wall. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Excavated from a 2000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. In stasis? Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M E G L 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M E G L nine thirteen nineteen seventy seven. Genova project approved. So they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth, what you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Sephiroth. Learning that he's probably some kind of an experimented on. In a quote-unquote monster. It's a very charged word. I wouldn't use that, but he... I think it weighs heavily on him. 
We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient's. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Well, what did Sephiroth start us? Did they take a human fetus and then experiment on it? Or how do the experiments work? <laughs> Cloud, I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas' wondrous experiment! He created you? Okay, so not a human baby then. Probably not. That's why he's so strong. But damn, he was pretty good at creating something from scratch then. He pretty much behaves like a human. Looks like a human. Clearly has a lot of human emotions right now, too. I should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey, hold on! Ooh! ooh. I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? I'm not sure how Sephiroth really felt about that whole discovery of his origins. Clearly, he's very upset about it. But I think there's a way more positive way you can read it. Like, hey, I... Oh, it turns out I was actually a test tube baby, but I'm super strong and everyone loves me. But hey, clearly, that's you. not what he thinks. Get in there. The villagers need your help. Oh, no. Watch out. Yeah, and then this is how the village... Oh, I want that box! Can I have that? Oh, come on, you can't put it right there and not give it to me. Why would you destroy the village? The village didn't do anything wrong to you. The people here are just making them suffer. Oh, your mom! Is it true? Sephiroth did this? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. 
So keep your eyes oh, peeled. The people know he destroyed Nibelheim. Keep your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. So he shouldn't be that revered as a war hero anymore Sarah? in present day. But he Why would he? I can't even recognize which house is mine. I don't recognize the village anymore. This one? No? Oh! Mayor! Am I gonna die? No. No. No! Hold on, Mom. I'm coming. How could he do this? What? Oh, come on. The valve? <laughs> the valve ain't gonna help here. Wait, how am I gonna get past? Oh, my leg is being so annoying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude is just chilling. There. Oh, your damn leg. <sighs> it's gonna already be gone. And we can't, even if you catch up to him, it's not like we can defeat him anyway. That's the bigger problem. Perks of being a test tube experiment, baby. You're just ultra strong. Mom! The water tower. The water tower is like, I don't know, to me it's like the symbol of Cloud and Tifa's relationship. Please. Please be okay. And to see it fall down like that. Sephir. Security officer. The subtitle says security officer for Cloud. Mom. I got you. Come on, let's get you up. Oh my god. Why though? Like, be angry at the right people. These people didn't do anything to you. There he is. Sephiroth. Why become a monster? You, you, you were born one. That's far enough. Drop the sword. Like now you're, you're just choosing to do evil. All because of learning his own origins? Or does it have more to do with, like, he thinks that this is what an ancient should do? Hey! 
I'm coming. Like, he thinks his mother is gonna tell him... Like, he's, he's doing all this for his mother. Sephiroth! Because that's what his mother would say. Hey, Sephiroth, my son. Go kill everyone. End the world. Eyes are so snake like. Thin pupils. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. Oh. When Sephiroth showed up. Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <gasps> Wait, he left the sword here? sword here Mother I have come for you Now open the way for me You murdered my dad You burned my village <gasps> Oh. Oh. <gasps> what? Oh! Oh my god. Didn't fulfill his promise of being a hero. You promised you'd save me if I was ever trapped or in trouble. <sighs> okay, that kind of sucks. She's in so much pain, and she's still <laughs> immediately upon seeing him. She's like, "Why didn't you come save me?" But that's the thing, though. She probably didn't actually say it like that. Here I am. Your son. Mother. Together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! <laughs> Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. 
now and forever. Oh, so five years later, this this was in the Shinra building, but five years ago they put it here for some reason. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Oh my god, this guy literally turned evil after reading a few books in the library. That's this is insane. That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell oh. it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? <clears throat> because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. This seemed like a random time gap. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. <laughs> you weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah, let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? <sighs> yeah, that was a... Uh, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> that bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Well, that was certainly a choice, starting off with a big flashback. My back is as stiff as a board, too. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? <laughs> Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. What? All that stuff was taken from me, though. Oh. Or maybe erased? 
by whispers? Yeah. Oh, that interesting. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Thank you! Thank you, Tifa! God! Thank you! Finally, someone said it! Oh my gosh, it felt like I was being gaslit for two hours straight, and then everyone around me was just like, Oh yeah, yeah, that that's right. Thank you, catharsis! I guess Tifa was just maybe a little bit too polite to interrupt and be like, Hey, but she knew. She knew something's wrong. Cloud, you up? And it's not that he wasn't in Evilheim, he actually was. But Tifa didn't know because the whole time he was hiding as a random Shinra trooper. Okay, yeah, that was a... That was a massive beginning section here. Mm, I'm very curious about what Aerith said just now. Tifa asks, what? I wonder what Cloud has been doing the past five years. And she says, I might have known at one point. But she only met him very recently. For the first time. The first time when we saw her selling flowers in Midgar. That was like this year. And yet she says that she probably knew what we... What Cloud was doing five years ago. But the whispers took it from her. So she has access to future information, but... Is also missing some stuff from the past. The past? But she wouldn't even have known Cloud five years ago. But you have to think about how, like... <sighs> we had this big long flashback here. It was kind of like a condensed version of what happened in Crisis Core, except the details were very wrong. But like, why... What made him forget? <laughs> like, every time he has those green flashes... Oh, it's a Mako! Mako is doing some stuff then, I guess? Mako poisoning? They've said it so many times in the beginning already. Could it just make you think you're someone else entirely? Scramble up all your memories? It's, it feels like it's a mixture of different things, because he himself, Cloud himself, probably wants to be seen as a hero, but he wasn't, at that point, he was just a random Shinra trooper. He wasn't a hero. And so it feels like whatever is happening right now, it, it's like a bit of um wish fulfillment. It's what he wishes he could have been. And that's how a lot of the dialogue in that whole sequence felt like, too. People in the town were all praising soldiers. Like, soldiers are the best, man. Thank you for coming. We're gonna welcome you. And you, yeah, you're gonna save us and save the day and all that. But if in reality, his town was destroyed, Tifa's dad died, his own mom died, he couldn't help Tifa, there's an extremely large gap between what he wishes he was and what he actually is. And that's... Maybe... The subconscious is trying to compensate for that very much. It could be more nefarious things going on. I, I don't know. I'm not sure at this moment. But in, I reviewed this very recently. So I know that Hojo in Remake actually straight up says, Cloud, you are not a soldier. And that's a, that's a big hint. Does Red have to worry about that? <laughs> the bed catching on fire? Like a Charmander. Red is a bit of a mystery, too, isn't he? He? It's a he, right? I, I don't know. They say... It. I feel like there's more to Red, but I don't know what's going on at all right now. Something about Shinra, lab rat dogs, blah blah blah. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Secret rendezvous in the middle of the night with a girl I like. 
Oh my god, not already! You know that I killed her. What? So, who is she? What? <laughs> or rather, what is she? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I thought the conclusion of that just now was that Cloud thought Tifa was dead. But then later on after all that stuff happened, oh it turns out it turns out Tifa was just heavily wounded. Actually, Cloud himself doesn't know, right? Because his memory is a blank, and then... I guess that's what he would assume, but now the, the Sephiroth and his hallucinations is saying, No, no, I killed her. She's not actually here. Who is she? God knows. Wow, our introduction to Calm is so unceremonious. We're just here in an inn. Can we- can we explore this town in the day or something? It looks like a nice town. It's huge, by the way. Just looking around briefly. What's up? You gonna ask outright? Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Oh my gosh. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? This is kind of weird because Tifa could be thinking the exact same thing about you, Cloud. Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you, but here we are. Here, look. Oh, oh, oh. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on after me all you night left. and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. You don't even know! Of course you can't. Do you even know? Sorry, I just need some space. Ooh. Oh, I'm liking- I'm liking the spicy drama. Yeah. You would expect that everyone would band together and we'd all be fighting Sephiroth. Because he's a bad guy and we're the good guys and we're we're power friendship and all that, but no, people people's relationships break down. Because there's this this weird misunderstanding right now. Like what the hell is <sighs> That's such a weird thing for the Sephiroth hallucination to imply though. I really feel like it's weird. If you saw someone on their deathbed and then you lost your memory, you just have a blank in your memory. And then the next time you see that person's okay again. I feel like I would naturally assume, oh, thank god, they didn't actually die, thank you, thank you. But then... To imply that Tifa's an imposter... Just seems like there's a few jumps in logic there. And then the fact that Cloud actually takes the hallucination seriously, too. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Mm. Guess so. No, what? Don't say that! I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Oh! 
Oh! No! No, Tifa! Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening on the first night of calm. I am not calm. Damn it, Cloud, why would you say, I guess so? Are you serious? <sighs> I'm... I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. Fought for the company? Shinra? It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. All hallucinations... Why Why do we keep hallucinating Sephiroth? Is it like intense PTSD, just trauma? Because he did destroy my entire village. That stuff did happen. Man, this is insane. I, I just can't even imagine. I'm trying to, trying to think about Tifa. Like, what's she feeling right now? She just thinks I'm... Cloud is lying his ass off. That's scary. Is someone close to you? Someone that you thought you knew well? And he's just like, lying with a straight face. She thinks he's lying with a straight face. I think he just doesn't know. That's... Might I suggest retiring to your room for the evening? That's a little bit too much drama for one night. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully you'll just be able to pick that up... ...tomorrow. We can kind of see peek outside at calm a little bit. <laughs> Not really. Oh, <laughs> calm. More like intense inner turmoil. Only the best beer sold here. You can't. Yeah. <sighs> that was not a good start. Ugh. It's random people. Okay. Sounds good. What? Oh, there's a nighttime version. We're only level 15. <laughs> we were level... We were level 40 before. Nah, I'm not keeping it. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. Oh, Cloud is not very adept at communication and all that, unfortunately.